notable news over the last week or so has been the uniform releases. And I love doing my uniform reviews. So we're going to look at every one of the four new sets of uniforms. Starting off with the New York Jets. We talked about these last week. The New York Jets uniforms, awfully similar to what we've seen in the past. Black, white. You're very limited in what you can do with that color scheme. That white throwback alternate jersey, it's most notably been used in that week one game against the Buffalo Bills where Aaron Rodgers played in only four snaps. I think the Jets actually did a pretty good job here considering, I mean, it looks similar to what we've seen in the past, but it's definitely an upgrade. And I like their helmets. They're really throwing it back to the 80s with these uniforms. So solid stuff from them. But this next uniform combination that we're about to talk about really set the standard and set the tone for these new uniform releases. These new uniforms, oh, so good, so clean, because the Detroit Lions are back in black. Cue up the ACDC. Yes, I'm back in black. That black uniform, black top, black pants, so clean with the blue helmet and the black lion. Are you kidding me? They've had black uniforms in the past, but they did not compare to these at all. We also saw them unveil some new uh, typical home and white home and away jerseys, the blue and the white. When you look at their past jerseys, the numbers were harder to read. They had silver numbers. It's a slight change, but I think it's a welcome change for Detroit Lions fans. I really like what they did there. Solid stuff from the Detroit Lions. I think that's the best uniform change that we've seen this offseason, unlike these ones that we're about to show. This next uniform combination is atrocious. Oh, boy. The Denver Broncos. They really managed to mess this up. I, I've never liked the Denver Broncos uniforms in the first place. I do like the one on the far left where it's the throwback uniform with the D on the helmet. I mean, those classic, classic look. You've seen like, guys like Shannon Sharp wearing those. But these three uniforms to the right of that are just atrocious. That's my opinion, but it is a widespread belief and it's a widespread opinion that many other fans around the National Football League share. Those aren't very good. And, I mean, that was all, those jerseys were revealed on the same day that the Denver Broncos acquired Zach Wilson. From the New York Jets. It's got to suck to be a Denver Broncos fan right now. Like they just got rid of Russell Wilson. Took on a massive dead cap amount of money. And then they go ahead. Change their uniforms to this. And trade for Zach Wilson on the same day. Zach Wilson it was only for a seventh round pick. I mean low risk. High reward I guess. But Zach Wilson former second overall pick. That's one of the biggest draft busts in NFL history. And I don't think that's changing. That sucks. And if you're a mother in the Denver area, do not go outside. Next up, the Houston Texans. The Houston Texans uniform reveal. I rank this as the second best of the four new uniforms. I mean, that red, all red with the red helmet, that is... That's a clean look. The blue, like the navy blue and the white, they're home and away jerseys. They're all right. They're not that much different than what we've seen in the past from them. And then the one in the middle right there, the H-Town threads with the baby blue H. It's kind of a, like, it's kind of a throwback to what we've seen with the Houston Oilers, those colors. But I myself, I'm not a fan of them. I think the other three jerseys are better. But, hey, it's interesting stuff for sure. Interesting stuff. I think the NFL uniforms, those ones, they're good. I think all the all the teams that changed their uniforms, they did pretty well, except for the Denver Broncos. And that's very indicative of that franchise right now because they can't seem to do anything right. It's bad over in Colorado. Really bad. But at least they have the Colorado Avalanche, and at least they have the Denver Nuggets. 